before engines rumbled, before highways stretched across continents, and long before the familiar hum of traffic filled our cities, the world moved at a different pace. It was a world that galloped, trotted, and ambled at the speed of horses. For thousands of years, this was the rhythm of human life, the undisputed limit of how fast and how far we could go. It was a reality that seemed as permanent as the sky itself. Then, in a small workshop in 19th century Germany, everything started to change. The year was 1885. An engineer named Carl Benz was consumed by an idea that most people thought was pure fantasy, even dangerous. He imagined a vehicle that could propel itself, a carriage that needed no horses to pull it. He wasn't just dreaming, he was building. Day and night, he tinkered with gears, pistons, and a sputtering engine, piecing together a machine that would challenge the very notion of travel. What emerged from his workshop was odd. It was a strange-looking contraption with three spindly wheels, a clattering engine that coughed out smoke, and it inspired almost zero confidence from the public. People didn't just doubt it, they openly mocked it. Children would point and laugh. Adults whispered that it was a devil's machine, a noisy, smelly failure waiting to happen. The consensus was clear, it would never work. But Carl Benz ignored the laughter and the fear, he just kept working. He called his creation the Benz Patent Motor Wagon. This wasn't just another invention. It was the first gasoline-powered automobile in history. And let's be honest, it wasn't impressive by today's standards. It was painfully slow, topping out at just 10 miles per hour. It was wobbly, unstable, and incredibly difficult to steer. But it did one miraculous thing. It moved all on its own. It was the spark. But the world remained skeptical. The true turning point came thanks to Carl's wife, Bertha Benz. In a bold and daring move, she secretly took the motor wagon with her two sons, on the first long-distance automobile journey ever recorded. She drove over 60 miles, facing breakdowns, fuel shortages, and public astonishment. But she made it. Her journey wasn't just a trip, it was a demonstration. She proved to a stunned world that this wasn't just a madman's toy, it was the future. From that single, defiant drive, the world was set on a new course. The revolution had begun. Factories began to rise, cities expanded outward, and the web of highways we know today started to take shape. Our modern lives, how we work, where we live, how we connect, so much of it can be traced back to that noisy three-wheeled machine and the, stu and the stubborn belief of the man who built it and the woman who proved its worth. The first car in the world wasn't fast, it wasn't beautiful, and it certainly wasn't perfect, but it was a beginning. It was the start of a revolution in motion that, even today, continues to move us all forward. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this story, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. See you next time.